Today's video, we're going to break down how to beat the Blitz in Madden NFL 16. We're taking a look at our Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook, and uh, we're taking a look at how to beat the Blitz uh, in this year's game. We're going to use the 245 double A gap, one of the better blitzing formations in this year's game. We actually break down the 245 double A gap in our defensive guide. You can check that out in the description. Uh, but today, we're going to be taking a look at how to beat uh, how to beat the Blitz. Um, in Madden NFL uh, 16. The play I like to use from Indianapolis's playbook is I believe the halfback wheel. You're going to see it's in your quick audibles. The reason we really like the Indianapolis Colts playbook is because it's very effective for Madden Ultimate Team. Alright, so halfback wheel, this is very uh, important first of all, is a couple of disclaimers. What we like to do with this uh, play is it's it's got two quick passes to the backs out of the, out of the line of scrimmage. The other thing that's going to have for us is we're going to work a nice quick passing game uh, underneath underneath uh, the underneath middle here so uh, what we like to do first is this play doesn't require very many adjustments it's pretty good stock uh, but I, what I like to do is I like to take um, Watkins and I like to place him either on a drag pattern um, or a hitch pattern if you believe that you uh, if it just kind of is what you like you know some people like drag some people like hitches I like hitches um, so I'm gonna probably put him on a hitch and what you're gonna see here and actually for the play sake I'm probably gonna have to put him on a drag so I'll, I'll just put him on a drag but anyway, uh, what we're going to do with this is what I like to do is I like to take Watkins. I like to motion him uh, inside two steps. And then my first read is going to be this quick release to Charles Clay. Uh, and against zone blitzing defenses, this is going to be a really effective route um, that you're going to be able to hit. It's, a, it's probably the better route against zone. What we like to do is just pass lead it to the right. You see he's going to flare out in a nice flat pass. This year, flat passes are very effective. I would recommend them to anybody starting out. Um, like I said, you know, just a nice bullet pass. Get him the ball in space. Let him go run. Uh, Charles Clay is going to do a nice job for you in that vicinity. Um, the next read on this play is going to be shady out of the backfield. You see he's going to be on a nice bullet pass and uh, get him in the ball in space. And we all know what can happen with shady when you get him the football in open field. Um, and so what you're going to see here is it's just a quick double flat read uh, and you just kind of pick the flat that's open. If there's own blitz in you, one of those flats is going to be open. It's just the bottom line. And um, and so that's what we're going to be able to do there from the from the zone beating aspect. And so our like I said, our first two quick reads are to the flats. Um, your third read is going to be Sammy Watkins on this little drag pattern. What you're going to see is um, it's going to just cross over the middle, and you're going to be able to hit it. Uh, it'll be really good against man when we get into that as well. Your fourth read on this play is going to be uh, Woods on the corner route, and what you're going to see is this corner route you're going to need to click on and come underneath the ball. Uh, you need to cut this off. If you don't cut this off, the deep blue zone is going to make a play on it. Um, so, again, pass lead it. Um, and there you see gosh, a really bad example. But what we're going to try to do is show you I, I more of this. So we'll show you a couple more reads. But this route, pass lead down. And we, like I said, this is a later read. You'd have three quick reads against the blitz. So, you know, that's really the bottom line. Um, let's just show you the route that I just want to show you. Pass lead down, click on, and you want to come underneath it like that. That's what you're wanting to do. So. Um, and then late, like if they're, you know, late, of course, if they, if you have time, you can try to hit this rat to Harvin. I recommend throwing these post rats with a pass lead up, uh, or not a pass lead up, but with a high pass lead. Uh, hold L1, click that high pass lead, click on, make that nice user catch. It's good for single high safeties uh, in situations like that. Um, it's not really that good otherwise. Uh, but like you see here, the gap pressure from the A gap, um, you're going to be able to have, you're going to, it's going to be uh, something you're going to want to hit these, um, these quick passes. Um, so what I recommend first is getting your bearings in the pocket. So stepping up and then throwing the football. Don't try to throw the football off your back foot. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. As someone who's done it a million times and thrown a million picks, I recommend. I just don't want you to do that. I want you to take these flat passes, but I want you to wait a split second. Even the fastest blitz in the game, and here we'll show you. Fastest blitz. Fastest blitz here that's going to come through the gap. Pretty sure this will work. What you'll see here, even this blitz, you still have time to set your feet, throw a quick touch pass to the outside. So um, just trust me. Set your feet. And, and get rid of the football. Now, while you, again, you need to be worried, you need to get it quick out, but again, um, that's the whole mentality. Now, I want to show you some man pressure. Uh, we'll just show you the middle blitz. And uh, what you're going to see here is your first read 
is still going to be open to the outside. It does a nice job at beating man. Um, and so you're going to be able to hit that uh, quick. So that's good. So that's your first read. If that's covered, if they start user controlling it, then your second read, you see it's not going to beat man. So that's important. That read's not going to beat man, so you need to know that. So if they're in man, you can't throw that route. Okay, so just know that. At least you can't throw it early. Later you can throw it, but you can't throw it early. Uh, Watkins, you see he's going to toast man to man. And so you're going to use a nice touch pass. What I like to do, it's a quick read off the line. And if they're in man, um, what you're going to see here is Watkins will do a nice job at, and if they don't bump him or whatever they're doing, I don't know what the defense is doing right now. But basically, Watkins against man is solid. Um, and you may not want to motion him. Uh, I honestly, I mean, if I if I motion him, I probably motion him 50% of the time. It just depends, honestly, um, on what the defense is doing. Like, if I need, because, like, this drag actually comes quicker if you don't motion him. So, so that's kind of that. But, but anyway, so that's what we're doing with that play. Um, the post route, we'll just show you. The, in the corner out. We'll show you the corner out first because um, it's a, obviously the next read in the projection. Tra tra you see that you don't really have time to throw it um, if they have a free runner at you. But um, what you want to do is lob it. You want to lob it to the outside. Let, let him let him run underneath it. And normally you'll have success with that. Um, but again, the corner out's not really something we're going to be hitting. You know, we're really going to focus on this drag. I mean, it's going to be a really good man beater. Uh, when we talk about zone or when we talk about man blitzing, um, we're going to focus on the drag and the uh, quick route to to Clay. Uh, Clay's Clay's route is going to do a nice job um, at beating man. I like the way that it breaks to the outside like that, and it's really effective for beating man to man coverages. So that's what we're doing there. If they go stock man, what you're going to see is now this is going to open up this corner route. You're going to be able to nice touch pass to the outside make a really good read um, on that corner route so that's what we're doing there and then last but not least this route to Harvin over the middle is going to be a nice route as well remember what we like to do is throw if he's wide open like that um, then we'll probably just throw it as is pass it to the inside click on undercut it if they're covering him more tightly um, so maybe a situation like this where the defense says all right, I want to man line and I want to press. So I'm going to come up and really play you. What you're going to see is this rat's going to get bumped. What we like to do is, and you see it's going to have some issues getting open. And we'll show this against cover two, man. But um, what you'll see here, and oh my gosh, a stupid line of scrimmage, man. I'm really pissed off about the stupid practice mode like I can't even run a play like it's ridiculous like why why would they put that pass rush in there because that pass rush is not the same in the game but anyway this post route like I said if you know if they don't if he doesn't get a separation you want to use a high pass lead and uh, make a user catch so that's what we want to do oh and then finally Shady's route late you're gonna have it um, when it cuts up field you're gonna have a lot of separation as you see there um, with a bullet pass and we'll show you that from two men under as well because um, that was cover one. Sorry. I don't know. I'm bumping crap. We'll show you cover two man real quick. Assuming we have enough freaking time to throw the ball. But when he cuts up field, you're going to be able to, to kind of touch pass it over the defender. Um, and that's kind of a kind of a big deal in my opinion because it gives us a, le a read late. If, they, if we read it wrong and they're not in a blitzing defense, we're still going to be able to beat man pretty for big yardage. I mean... That's a pretty good route. So, but anyways, guys, that's a split close. That's the Indianapolis Blitz Beater, in my opinion. It's probably the, one of the better formations from the Colts book. Uh, so, definitely take advantage of that halfback wheel. It's in your quick audibles. Uh, so, thanks for watching, guys. Tomorrow, we'll be breaking down the bread and butter of the scheme. We're going to be showing you how to run the ball uh, from Indianapolis playbook, and that's kind of the whole purpose.